tell me about Angels. Angel is uh, an innovative uh, project that is uh, using ADSB technology for enhancing safety of the helicopter approach and landing. So it's uh, quite uh, the, a new system with the aim to put a little bit of more safety into this market, into this industry of the rotor craft, specifically for approach and landing. It is one of the critical, most critical part of the mission helicopter. And just starts with the idea to uh, use a DSB to increase the safety of the approach and landing, as said. The system is based on the ground, so it is a precision ground-based approach system. It's using data from the helicopter, it's downlinked to the ground station. The ground station makes a, a predictive elaboration of the data and then is uplinked again to the helicopter, giving the lateral and vertical alignment to the pilot. And the pilot is using an iPad for uh, terminal guidance? Yeah, actually we have two versions, two possibilities. Pilot can use either iPad, in just in case of small helicopter where there's no uh, ADSB installed in the cockpit, or for bigger helicopter they can easily use their own cockpit display. We leave to the avionics manufacturer the idea to integrate and distribute the data to the pilot. So that's why in our strategy we are providing data to the main avionics manufacturer and free flight is, is one of that. Now you can use this in virtually any location though. You're talking about, I saw examples of offshore as well as on land. How do you prepare an offshore platform to be able to utilize something like this? The system is uh, installed on the helideck. Needless to say, offshore is the most critical market because uh, offshore is the most demanding environment for, for uh, approach and landing. system can be easily fit into any available box, such as any helicopter landing officer or room, let's say. So it does not require any other interface it, uh, other than the in interface with the weather station available on the deck. The ground station has an ADSB receiver and transmitter that is communicating the data to and from the helicopter. What's the future for a system like this? What, do you, what are your expectations? Uh, well, we believe that all the present and the next future of this approach landing is based on uh, systems such as Angels or similar systems that can benefit of the GPS technology and the DSB technology. Do you see the possibility of Angels being implemented here in the United States? Yes, we do. The system starts from the needs of the offshore community in Europe that is mainly focused on the wind parks market offshore and the oil and gas in the region waters. But needless to say, we believe that the market in the Gulf of Mexico of the offshore platform is extremely important for us and uh, take, be beneficial of our systems such as Angels. Outstanding. We thank you much for your time midway through Heli Expo 2017. Please keep us up to date. This sounds fascinating. We will do it. Thank you very much. Aero TV is brought to you by have you ever wanted big glass in your cockpit but didn't have the space? Now with Avidyne's IFD series, touchscreen GPS navigators, and our new IFD 100 iPad app, having big glass in your cockpit is finally within reach. Free Flight Systems is expanding its business into the Part 25 aviation industry through new avionics shop dealers manufacturer partnerships, and STC programs. With a focus on the next-gen airspace and remote-mounted sensor systems, Free Flight Systems will continue to be a leader in the next-gen airspace. Visit freeflightsystems.com for details.